And Artie, it's a huge mess out there as people start to fix all the damage from this storm. Many homes and businesses were underwater. And as everything dries today, many are worried about more storms to come. After the worst of the storm passes, Kelly Fuque returns to her once flooded apartment. I'm probably not going to be able to keep any of the stuff that was damaged because the water was just all swill. It wasn't clear, it was all brown water. And right now, Kelly is staying at a hotel and she is homeless. I just hope that this, you know, type of incident doesn't happen to anybody. Um, it's so unfortunate for um, anybody to have to go through. I'm not sure about the amount of help that I'm going to be receiving. She does have flood insurance, but says her company will most likely only pay for a fraction of what she lost. Attorney Evan Walker has tips for homeowners like her, working with their insurance to clean up the mess. I would ask them to come out and assess the damage. Just because a property is flooded doesn't mean that all the property damage is related to flood. He says damage caused by other elements could be covered by your insurance, and your agent could be liable if they didn't advise you properly. See what they advised you to buy. See, more importantly, what they advised you not to buy. She's not the only one picking up the pieces. Electric chair in Ocean Beach was filled with water. It was really scary, actually. It came in really fast. That was probably the scariest part about it, is how quick everything happened. They stacked sandbags, but it wasn't enough to keep it from gushing in. Now, like many other employees, they are drying out what little they can save and bracing for the future. We learned from our mistakes. And property damage lawyers say the major problem they see is business owners and homeowners don't get flood insurance. But if this is any indication of more damage to come, it's so much better to be covered. Liberty Zabala, NBC7.